All right, 9.8, we're going to be looking at compound inequalities. <coughs> These usually involve and or or. So um, first we need to learn how to determine intersection or union of sets. Um, we're going to look at some vocabulary terms. We're going to graph compound inequalities on real number lines, solve compound inequalities, and then uh, solve compound of union. We'll solve them with intersection and solve them with union. Okay, so first they start out with a little bit of terminology here. <clears throat> They're showing you a set is a collection of uh, objects or numbers. So capital letters usually denote sets. Sets are also um, in curly brackets. That's how we know we're dealing with a set of numbers as opposed to a range, an interval. <clears throat> Listing them is what they call the roster method. So if you see that uh, terminology pop up, roster method is just listing them. Like you see a list of names on a roster or team, roster, just listing each one of them. Uh, remember, this boldface W is whole numbers, so they're listing a few of them. Uh, starting with zero, going up to the positive whole numbers. The boldface Z is integers, so whole numbers including their opposites, their negatives. <clears throat> now we have um, unions and intersections. Okay, so union is denoted by this U shape. Okay, no tail on it, just a U shape. And what it does is it combines two or more sets together. So it's kind of like adding them together, listing everything that is in one or the other or both. So when we say or, okay, we're not just saying A or B. A or B in this case means both. Okay? And it shows you here both sets together. <clears throat> and then when we talk about intersection, it's the upside down U, like an N, intersection N. Um, this is A and B. Has to be in both. Okay, so it's the stuff that is in A and it is also in B at the same time. What do they have? Overlapping intersection. So down here they give you one example or one that we'll talk about. If A is this set, 1, 2, and 3, so just those numbers 1, 2, and 3, B is the numbers 2, 3, and 4, then if we talk about A or B, it adds both of these together. So all together we have 1, 2, 3, 4. You don't have to repeat them um, if they're in one and the other. Just all together, what different elements do you see? So A or B, which is this A union B, is the set 1, 2, 3, 4. And then if we talk about um, intersection, or A and B, the intersection, what they both have in common is 2 and 3. So the set A intersect B is just the set 2 and 3. And here's a diagram that kind of shows you that. So union is everything, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Intersection is just what they have in common, so the bold, the double dark section. We're going to have some examples here that Hawks um, takes you through. We'll do a few of our own. All right, some more terminology. <clears throat> Finite just means uh, the set can be counted. Okay, so you can count how many of them are in there. Um, it doesn't go on forever. Uh, if the elements cannot be counted, it's said to be infinite. So it just goes on and on and on. Um, we also have what we call the empty set, or they might say null set. Um, to identify that or no, uh, notation for that is just a bracket that's empty with nothing in it. Um, you may also use this symbol, which we call uh, the empty set. It is a zero with a line through it. Okay, that means empty set. <clears throat> And then we're going to be dealing things in set builder notation. So uh, just kind of be familiar with it so you know how to use it and read it. So set builder notation starts with curly brackets. It will put a variable in there and there will be a vertical bar. This part is red. The set of all x's or whatever variable you have such that. This vertical bar is red such that. And then they'll have some other information in there for you to identify. So this vertical bar that just showing you is red such that it just kind of breaks it all down for you. And we'll be using that. So um, just kind of get used to what it means. We'll be doing union and intersection with sets and with um, inequalities. So um, we'll do several examples so you can see that. 
Um, we'll also be graphing them on the number line, so I'll show you what that looks like as well. So you got to keep in mind, intersection is what they have in common, union is adding them together. Several examples here in Hawk. We're going to do some of our own here in a minute, but you have these to look at as well.